guys so we are here with my uh, foster family um for with my foster family challenge um i figured that they would be perfect because there's a thousand kids here so i can show you a couple of my post packs and ooh, and how to use them so the first thing that i'm going to do is go to build mode because we need a handy dandy assistant in order to utilize these post packs <laughs> Don't judge. We don't have very many simoleons. We have two. We have two simoleons, you guys, because we just renovated the house. So don't judge me for all this red. Um, all right. So this right here is the key to your success with the post pack. With, with uh, post packs, you need him in order to get all of your sims that you want in the photo. And I will show you guys exactly what I mean here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and put down two of him. And I always double check to make sure that I grab two because sometimes they get sticky and uh, they don't wanna, they just, you know, whatever. Um, and the way that, the easiest way that I get to him is I go to the kitchen and then I, I click uh, misc decorations. That's the easiest way that I find him. You might, you might hear other people find, that have easier ways. That's just how I do it. Um, also because I want to show you guys this. Why does this cost a simoleon? Oh, now I'm going to have to, well, I'm going to sell it right back. <laughs> oh, we're so broke. <laughs> but, um, yes, this is the, this is the cardboard box that we just got you guys, uh, from downloading this post pack. So, and it's actually really stinking cute. I really like it. I've not done anything with this post pack yet, so I'm really excited and hopefully uh, I can show you the right way to do it. <laughs> and it's not like totally hideous. So now I'm out of build mode, as you see, and I'm going to go into create a sim so I can add the accessories to the child that I am going to have in this post pack. Yeah, I could eat him. Whew, you guys, I could eat him with a spoon. I could eat him with a spoon. Okay, so I'm going to pull up Caroline real quick. And we have to give her the accessories in order to match up with the post pack. Oh, okay. So we have the wooden sword right here. And that's, <laughs> and there it is in all of its glory. And essentially it is a bracelet. That's why it's in her hand because it is a bracelet. So that, that's why we call them accessories. And I'm going to get rid of this hot weather thing so I can add, I'm pretty sure it said it came with the crown. Maybe that's, oh, it's probably in, it's probably in the head stuff. Okay. Make it complicated. Why don't you? All right. There it is. There we go. <laughs> I struggled for a little bit. <laughs> that was a little rough. Okay, so we have the crown. We have the sword. So let's go uh, put them to work. All right, guys, we are ready to rumble. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm back over here with our little setup, and I'm going to click on this handy-dandy thing, and I'm going to hit teleport sim. The difference, uh, I'll explain real quick, the difference between summon a sim here and teleport a sim here is teleporting is sims that are um, on this lot already or like walking down the street or whatever, just like in this general area, summoning a sim basically gives you the ability to summon any sim from any lot or world in the game. Um, but I don't need to do that. Everybody that I need is right here. So I'm going to teleport everybody that I want in the picture. So I'm teleporting Ed. And I'm also teleporting Caroline. And so now they're here all funky dunky <laughs> looking uh, all crazy, all sorts of crazy. And I'm going to click on Ed first and I'm going to go to pose by pack. Here are all of my <laughs> so many, so many pose packs and um so some of them don't work but most of them do so now I just have to find the pose pack that we are using here we go all right here we go here we go so I'm going to go ahead and click this 
And uh, as you can see, all of the pictures that were listed on the Tumblr are here. This does not always happen, but uh, it is very helpful when it does. <laughs> so, so yeah, you guys. So I want to go to the post pack that has the castle. So, and here it is. So I'm going to, uh, okay. So it looks like Keely is the child and then Raul is the dad. So I'm going to click Raul because that is the dad and I want him to be in that pose and I'm going to click out of it and then I'm going to click Caroline. <laughs> Ask why. <laughs> okay. All right. Focus. And I'm going to find the pose pack again. Here it is. And I'm just going to scroll right back down. Only this time I'm going to push Keely because I want Caroline to pose as Keely. It's very, 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 very important. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough, guys. It is very, 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 very important that you click the right poses per sim. Because if you don't, oh my goodness, it turns out crazy looking. I, it, it, <laughs> it ugh, ugh, that's all I gotta say about it. Ugh. All right. So now gonna go over here and we're going to basically watch them morph into the proper pose for this pose back just by pushing play oh okay <laughs> oh it's so cute <laughs> oh my goodness this is adorable oh my god <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay. Let me sit still before people start complaining that they can't see. All right. So this is how this particular pose looks. And now to take a picture, because some people were also asking about pictures and camera movements. Um, I'm going to hit tab and tab basically gets rid of all the extra junk on the screen. And I'm going to zoom in to this little warrior here. Oh my gosh. She's so you this this is amazing I, re I really like this you guys I really like this this is awesome and I'm just gonna turn it a little bit or a lot because I am turning it a lot zoom in a little and maybe go down <laughs> no I know I can't see his face there we go oh yeah <laughs> this is amazing this is amazing I'm gonna take another picture and then move back here and also take a picture from back here just so I can get a variety because when I make my um when I do my Instagram posts and also sometimes I use post packs uh sometimes I use post packs as well for my thumbnails on my YouTube videos I just like to have a variety just in case like a picture didn't turn out as good as I thought it was going to uh what have you so I just like to have a little bit of variety when I am trying to be creative. <laughs> oh, this is so cute, you guys. I love this. All right. I absolutely love this. This is adorable. Okay, I'm done gushing. So, yep. <laughs> and you, so essentially you go through all of this work to create this one second <laughs> of cuteness. <laughs> All right, guys, so now I'm going to, and the easiest way to get them to stop doing this is just to uh, click out of the posing, to tell them to stop posing, and bada bing, they're right back in there, and they have no idea that you just forced them to take a picture, and you just tell them to move it right along. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's it, and I'm also going to show you guys the bike pose as well since I have that in my game. All right, guys, so we're back in uh, Cass and now I'm going to get rid of the sword and I'm gonna get rid of the hot water thing because I'm pretty sure, yep, there are pads <laughs> to go. I mean, you don't have to use the pads. I'm. To be honest, I'm, I think that I downloaded these pads separately, but I just don't, I don't recall at this time. Oh, those are cute. Those match. Okay. Uh, I really like this little crown. I kind of don't want to take it off, but I'm going to, um, just because 
I want her to wear the helmet. So I'm going to get rid of the crown. Oh, okay. And it looks, that, that was weird. Because when I put the crown on, it took away her necklace. That's interesting. Because you would think that if this was jewelry, that it would be in jewelry. But I digress. So we're going to put the helmet on. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, let me stop blowing your eardrums out. Oh, you guys, that's pretty. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. She is so cute. I can't take it. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. We're going to use this helmet and these pads. Um... And we're also going to have to go back into build mode to retrieve the bike. All right, guys, I'm back in build mode. I'm going to get rid of this castle. Sell for zero? Um, excuse me, that cost a whole simoleon. You're really not going to give my simoleon back? <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> that's so, that's, that's, that's so mean. Okay. So I've only ever used the bikes once. So I'm going to, I might have to search around a little bit. So you guys, we're also going to go through kind of a trial and error here as well. Because I don't know, ex uh, I don't know which, 200 and why? Okay, so now I have to, why, why does the, the bike that you can't actually do anything with cost that many freaking simoleons? That's ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. I'm gonna get rid of the money before I go back into play the game, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of it. So, okay, that one looks like it's... Okay, so this, I think this is it. If that's not it... <laughs> come on! Oh my gosh. Really? Just clicking on it does the ka-ching? Oh, this... That cheat is amazing. <laughs> that's all that is, guys. That cheat is amazing. Um, I, I, I have the UI cheats in my game as well. So, yeah, just a cheating, meeting, fighting machine. I'm going to put this bike over here just in case it is, just in case this one is the right one so that one does not mess up our picture. So, okay, now I'm going to go back into live mode now that we have our bike. Oops, nope, premature. That was a premature go back. So now I have to go and get the handy dandy Knight in armor. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Okay. Now I have two of these. I want to make sure I have two because sometimes they get kind of sticky. And essentially the best rule of thumb when you're using an extra, like an extra item is to uh, try to put these directly in the center of whatever item you are taking the picture with or the pose with. Um, like if you were to do it up at the very top, like right here or at the very back, like right here, it might, the, the, the poses might not be perfectly centered and it's going to look a hot mess. <laughs> like essentially it's just not going to be cute. So we don't want to do that. All right, guys, I'm just going to do exactly what I did before. Teleport Ed and I'm also going to teleport Caroline. Okay, and I am going to go to pose by pack. Here we go. And here is the pose, pose two. So Caroline is going to be Keely learning how to ride a bike. And then Ed is going to pose by pack. And he is going to be Raul. Okay, so if this is the right bike, it should match up perfectly. Oops. <laughs> nope, it looks like it's that bike. Dang. Okay, <laughs> but <laughs> and you, you see why I, I wanted to make sure I had the right bike because, and this is, I mean, this is a, still a, a good learning point. Um, as you can see, her hands are not matching and his hands are not matching the bike and even uh, the pedals. You can see her foot is higher than that pedal and her butt is not completely on the seat. So that's why you want to make sure you have the right items with the post pack. And yeah, this is going to be so cute whenever we put them on the right bike. So I'm just going to have to go through this again. Like I said, this is also like just a trial and error. Like nobody is perfect at pose packs whenever they first start. So do not get discouraged. It, it let me like, as it, it's, it's pretty easy. Like once you get the hang of it and once you understand that you could be, um, 
doing post packs for <laughs> a, co- uh, a, co- a couple of minutes and it's not just going to be a bada bing bada boom thing even for me like and I've been using post packs for a while now like it's still I mean just like you saw like it, it's it doesn't always work the way that I want it to so I'm just going to have to do it again it also doesn't matter the order that you tra- uh, teleport them either. And I'm also going to stress again that it's very, 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 very important for you to make sure you p- pick the right pose. Because if you don't, then you literally just wasted that time. You're going to have to do it again. And it kind of sucks. <laughs> like It kind of sucks having to like keep on going back into this because it does take time. Like Especially like if you are doing your poses in bulk like I do. Like Whenever I'm like, okay, it's time to do a pose pack, I know that I'm going to be here for a while because I'm going to try to do all my post packs at once. So yay. <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute. It's so cute. So, and as you can see, this was the proper bike because her hands and his hands are matching on the handlebars and her feet and her butt are also on the bike pedals. So yeah, guys, and it looks like, <laughs> it looks like she is roaring. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my sweet, my sweet, my sweet little Caroline. So I'm going to take a picture right here. So yeah, guys, that is essentially how you use the uh, pose packs with extra items. Um, I can also go ahead and show you guys how to use the pose packs when you don't need the extra items. That's so, so, so much easier. And I can uh, go ahead and go back into build mode real quick and get a couple of more of the knights. So now I am going to teleport. Actually, I'm going to do Nicole and our new our new foster kid. <laughs> oh my God, I look crazy. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to go to pose by pack. And I'm going to go to this pack, which is the bestest ever. Um, and I have a couple of different poses that two children can do. Um, and so I'm probably just going to have them do this one. So I'm going to have, uh, I forgot her name, um, but I'm going to have her be uh, sis number one for pose two. So I'm going to click her for that. And I'm going to make Nicole sis number three, sis number two. <laughs> Says so number two for po- for pose two. All right, and I'm gonna layer this up a little bit so you guys can kind of see what happens if you um if you want to layer them without having the extra objects. So uh, um with this post pack, I will make Nicole the number one, and then I will make Nora. That's her name. Pose by pack gonna go in and make her number uh well b letter b sorry didn't realize that there was numbers there and i'm also gonna um do this one down here and then uh, i'll have nora be a and then i will have nicole be pose b for that one pose my pack okay and now when we uh, push play Oh, Nicole, she looks sad. It's probably because she's not in her bear costume. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that is super cute. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these tears in Nicole's eyes real quick because uh, I want to take a picture and we're not doing that. So I'm going to hit tab. All right. And then now that I've taken that picture, I am just going to go in and I'm going to exit this out for her. So the way to do it with the sim that you do not have control of, because I don't have control over Nora because she's a uh, part of the, fo- she's a foster kid. So I have no control over her whatsoever. I'm going to have to click her and then I have to click stop posing. And oh my, is she picking her nose? Oh my goodness. Children. It does look like she's picking her nose. Oh my god. Oh no, she's just, she's just booping it. She's just booping her nose. <laughs> this is so cute, you guys. All right, and then we're going to do our very last one. I have to, again, tell her to stop posing. All right, guys, and there you have it. <laughs> that is how you use the pose packs. That's how you use the Andrews pose player. And... Uh, 
I'm pretty sure that my job here is done. So if you guys have any questions or if you felt like something was a little fuzzy that I didn't go into enough detail about, please just go ahead and leave uh, your questions in the comments below. Also, you can DM me or message me on Instagram, however you feel like getting a hold of me, and maybe I can further explain things. Also, if you are needing help installing Andrew's Post Player, even knowing what Andrew's Post Player is, also locating and downloading um, post packs and moving them into your mods folder, I do a complete breakdown. It is super easy to follow, just like this video I hope was super easy for you to follow. Um, I will be linking that video in the description below. Um, I posted it before I posted this one and I will also be uh, linking that video at the end of this one. So if you guys need that, then it is here for you. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Do not forget, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because I appreciate it. All right, that's just why I appreciate it. And the whole channel appreciates it, you guys, because this channel is like a what? A warm hug. And everybody likes warm hugs, guys, not just Olaf. I will catch you guys in my next video. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.